YouTubers, and welcome back to our part three of our collection acquisition uh, videos. Uh, for those of you that missed the first couple parts, you can go back in our video log and find those. Um, but to summarize, I recently purchased a large collection of original, unplayed with, mint in box, um, matchbox models. So for the series today, I'm gonna go through a couple of the cars in the collection. Um, this is one of my favorites, this taxi cab here. I've done a restoration of these um, and, and that video's in our uh, library as well. But uh, there's a, a couple different variants and that and some of those I've, I've been looking for, some of them are, are sort of hard to find. Um, and this is a, a great one that I picked up. So this box uh, has a little crease on the top here. Overall, not in bad shape. It's got all the tabs and everything with it. So I might try to press that, maybe add a little reinforcement on the top, but overall pretty good condition on the box. But I'm super excited about this model. Um, so this is a, a harder to find piece. It has the red interior in it. Um, I've got a couple that have the white already, but have been on the hunt for red. And this has the sticker, not the decal, on the taxi on the front. So tow hook is intact. Um, couple little jiggers on it right there. There's some, some edge wear, a couple little points back there. And as I've said before, a lot of times when I find these like this and the rest of the car is so perfect, I wonder if that doesn't even happen just from rubbing in the box. So great little find there. Um, excited to get one with the red interior because all my others are white. So nice little find and decent shaped box. Has a couple little issues, a tear there we might try to do a quick repair on. But other than that, good little piece. So sticking with the theme of cars, up next, I've got a number 75 Ferrari Berlinetta. Um, I love these little models. And this is a, a pretty nice copy of one. So this box here, uh, not bad shape at all. Got a couple little, I don't even know what that is. It looks like a tear, but it's not. I think it's just a, a scratch in the surface in the artwork. Um, Maybe some of that starting to kind of break down there. But uh, overall, all the artwork is intact, looks good. All the tabs are, are there, so not a bad box. And car is even better. Look at this little baby. Very, very shiny. No play wear, no, no scratches, no nothing. Uh, again, I always look at the wheels. You can see the wheels here. You can see the the molding mark, the seam down the middle of the wheel. So I know that this was never played with, um, but great little copy of this model. Very excited to get it. Um, I've got a, a couple of these and I've got some very nice ones. So I'm not sure if this is better than the ones I've got or not, but uh, definitely a nice find. And as I mentioned in, uh, in the earlier videos, um, I bought this at a collection as a whole um, there was some pieces for sure that I was after in it, um, and the rest of these I just picked up because uh, the breakdown, I, I ended up paying a little over $400 um, for this total collection, but with the number of cars I got, it, it works out to about $13 a car, and I think most collectors would agree you'd end up spending anywhere from $10 to $15 just on a box, so to get the box and the car, it's a great little find. Um, this is quickly becoming one of my favorite little models, uh, this Fiat 500. Um, and I'll tell you why. Uh, a few months back, I actually was out in LA and I went to visit the Peterson Automotive Museum. And I've got a video about that. Um, I'll try to put a link in here where you can watch that earlier video. Um, but one of the things I, I was looking for while I was out there was something I could bring home to my kids. And I found a really cool book in their gift shop. And it has pictures of this model in it. And I brought the book back for my three-year-old and he absolutely loves it. And we read it every night before bed. 
Uh, it's quickly become one of our favorite books. And he recognizes this model from that book. And so um, it's been kind of a fun thing because he gets excited whenever he sees it. And I, I've kind of grown to love this little car. And the book, for those of you that are wondering, is called If I Built a Car. It's by uh, Chris Van Dusen. Um, and I'll put a link for this where you can order it. Um, but it's the artwork in this is just absolutely amazing. Um, and it's done with kind of a 1950s, 1960s, sort of the, the Matchbox era um, style and standard. But right here on... The opening page is the picture of the little Fiat 500, this one right here. And so, like I said, the book has become something that uh, my kids and I love. We love reading it together. Um, as I, I mentioned, the artwork in it is absolutely incredible. Um, there are a few other Matchbox in here that, that make an appearance. You can see he's got a little Wienermobile down here. Um, and it's definitely from that kind of era of science fiction. And you got the rockets and the little concept car that he ends up designing. But uh, great book. My kids absolutely love it. And uh, it has that little Fiat in it, which has quickly become something that uh, my three-year-old loves. So wanted to mention that real quick. If I built a car great book to read with your kids or your grandkids um, and get them to sort of love vehicles. So very excited to get this one. Um, really good shape. Roof rack and all that looks minty fresh. So another, another great find here. Our next car is a number 46 Matchbox Series Mercedes 300S Coupe. So I've got a few of these. Um, they made them in several different colors. And this one is green, matches the artwork on the box. I think I've also got a red and a blue um, for the different variations, but not a bad, bad box. It's, it does have a little crease here through the blue. Not bad enough that I would repair it. Uh, no major tears or anything, but overall, pretty good shape on that box. And this car is gorgeous. So, very, uh, got one little nick right there in the top. It's missing some paint, but the doors open. It's got the white interior. And as always, Check out the wheels. Still got the molding seam lines in there, so never rolled, never been played with. Great little find. Now this is something I have never seen before. Portieres. Uvrantes License Solido. If anybody can help me out with that or knows what that is referencing, I'm guessing it has something to do with the fact that this is a Mercedes, which is maybe a branded or licensed car. It's on both ends of the box. And maybe that has some something to do with a certain country or country of import or export. Um, if you know what that means, Leave me it in the comments down below because I've never seen that on a box before and I would be interesting to interested to learn what that is. So, or if you know what, what language that is. Um, obviously it looks Latin based, so I don't know if it's Spanish or Portuguese, um, but let me know. Up next, got a number 45. This is the Ford Corsair. I have a few of these in the, the collection already. Um, and I have one of these that has the boat still on the sprue. And as minty as all these have been, that's what I'm expecting on this one. And I am not disappointed. So let's take a look 
first. The box looks really great. Uh, no bends or creases. All the artwork's there. All the tabs are in place. Beautiful little box. Got the, uh, the boat and the roof rack still on the plastic sprue. So never punched, never been played with. And a beautiful original car. This one, uh, I've done one restoration of this model and it's really, it's a difficult restoration to do because this is such an odd color on this car. Um, it's not white, it's not green, it's not yellow, it's somewhere in between all three of those. Um, this one's got a little, well, it's like a little bubbling back here on the back end of the car. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that. I'm not sure what that is. I think that must be a defect in the casting underneath the paint, because obviously this is, this is all original, has not been repainted. Um, and it's not worn off, it's not causing the paint to come up. I, I think that's just a bubble in the casting. Um, a couple areas of edge wear, again, where I think it rubs against the box, sort of on this raised detail here, a little bit up here, one right on the top of the roof there, but overall really good shape on this and very happy to have another mint original in box in the collection. So another great find. Keeping with the car theme, I've got a number eight Ford Mustang. Um, love these little models. I've done a couple of restorations. We did uh, did one of these as a giveaway for the Paint It Pink Challenge. I uh, want to send out a, a big thank you to uh, the backer who purchased that. Um, we raised a little over $25, I think, for cancer research for Susan G. Komen in Missouri. Um, this is a great little model. I love it. Um, it has the auto steer mechanism in the bottom here, so you can actually turn the wheels. And uh, it was quite a challenge to actually do a restoration of one of these, but uh, this one's in pretty good shape. Um, it's got some sort of like shadowing in, I think it's in the paint. I don't think it's a scratch. It's kind of tough to tell, but um, a little shadowing, kind of these gray lines running through the paint on the roof up there. But other than that, um, looks to be in really good shape. No, uh, no scratches or dings or dents on this. Nice shiny chrome on the wheels. Toe hooks intact. So another really remarkable model. So happy to pick that one up as well. And let's see, I want to do, I think I want to do one more car. We'll do the number 33 Ford Zephyr. Um, so this one's kind of, this holds a kind of a sweet spot for me. This is the very first car I ever restored or did a restoration on. Um, and it was definitely a challenge and I don't think I even shot a video of it because it, it was all learning for me. So this box, not in great shape. We've got a tab that's just about torn off there. Got a little crease coming down here. This end looks a little bit better. At least both the tabs are in place. And all the artwork is good. So a couple issues on this box, but nothing that can't be very easily fixed. Um, and those are all repairs you've seen me make on the channel before. But the car itself, uh, looks to be in really great shape. I don't see any play wear on this at all. No scratches, nothing wrong with the paint. It's got the original tow hook. Um, and these, these were a little bit harder because these are cast, these are part of the base. So these broke off a lot and were, were hard to um, fix if, if you get one that's busted. But uh, this one is absolutely beautiful. All the plastic is nice and shiny. No dings, scratches, dents, nothing. Um, so definitely a standout piece in this collection. So great little model. That's going to do it for this week. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this, give us a like. And if you want to keep up with us and all of our future videos, click that subscribe button down below. Um, as always, thanks so much for joining us. And tune in next week for another Vintage Diecast Restoration.